Good morning everyone and welcome to Tokyo. We're in Japan and today we're going camera shopping because I need something for this camera and I want to find also a disposable camera that is not disposable. I don't know if it makes much sense but I basically want a film camera that's super cheap that I don't have to worry about and that I can switch on and off the film so I don't have to dump it every time like a disposable camera. In Tokyo, it's like a paradise if you're trying to buy used gear, if you're trying to buy new gear also. Like there's those shops with so many things and I've been in some of them, but now we're going to a place I've never been to and it's called Fujiya Camera. It's in Nakano and honestly, I don't know how it's gonna be. So we have to be discreet. Hopefully we don't get kicked out. And most importantly, you see that little red thing? It's great, but it's the wrong one. It's actually going over the screen. So I'm gonna try to find the right one. We'll see if we find it inside. All right, let's get in there. Oh, those, those ones are really cool. Nine millimeter, I wanna try this. What is that? Kamalan? Kamlan? Kamlan. Do you guys know this? Kamlan? Who knows that? Kamlan 8 millimeter F3. Well, that's cheap, 24,000. It's like $180. Hmm. Okay, let's find uh, the filter. Look at this. All the filters that you want in one place. I don't know which one I want though. Okay, so I'm just gonna check the diameter, 67. I want like one of those like mist filter, like black mist, whatever, and 67 for my 35 and the 20 mil. And also it's gonna go also on the 85, 18. It's gonna be great because right now I have 82 millimeter, which is, it makes the camera way too big. So let's try. I think I was reading here and it says black mist and then it's like Hin Shin no Yoni. I don't know what that I, means. Uh, black mist uh, filter no Hi. doko uh, okay, doko des. So, ah koko des. Hi. Hi. Arigato. 67 number 5. Ooh, I'm taking it. So let's get this first and then let's go in the other part of the shop to find the accessories. Because there's another part with accessories and maybe a film camera. Mm. Whew. All right, for the first time, I bought a filter. Did you get anything? No, I didn't get anything, but I had my eyes on a Boylander 85mm for my GH5. Ooh. Uh, but yeah, Sounds I great. don't know. Maybe I'll stop by another day. Let's check Fuji first and then we're gonna go check the accessory. I really need that little pad. If you have one of those cameras like that, that's super hard to handle. Honestly, this will save your life. It's gonna make it so, so much easier. So, highly, highly recommended. Oh, this is the top part. The M3 is $1,400. And you can't even review your images. Just saying. Oh, I, I had something like that when I was a kid. This is fun. Oh, the flash just came out. Look, look. You like go surprise. Hey, grandma. Boop. And then she has a heart attack and then you feel bad. I think those boxes were maybe cool, but I feel like I don't know much. So maybe you guys can let me know in the description which like is the easiest film camera I could get to replace a disposable camera, if you see what I mean. Where I don't have to worry, I can like literally throw it on the side pocket without having worrying. Hopefully I can find a little something for this one. And if you don't know what that is, that is a R1 XR2. It's a very interesting camera. I have a full video telling you about it coming up very soon because Honestly, it may not be worth it. Telling you more in a little bit. All right, let's go. This is the biggest camera store, electronic store here. And remember what we came for? We're looking for this little guy straight but also we're gonna check out everything. But it's so overwhelming. Okay, this is insane. There's eight, no, actually 10 floors of electronic items. Four camera ones. I found it thanks to this little icon. It's down there, B2. I guess an icon is big here, right? I didn't even know it still existed. Wow, this is overwhelming. Ooh, look at this blue Instax. This is great. Okay, guys, I'm giving up. I'm gonna replace this. Walk away. Whoa, whoa. I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. This is, this is a lot and it's a loner, so I don't want to get in trouble. Okay. Ooh, Lumix. Panasonic. I think they released something because they invited a bunch of people to come. But I would never recommend Lumix for like photography anymore. Honestly, Olympus pen, I've never tried. Hmm, I've never shot with the Olympus. Have you ever shot 
Let me know in the comments right now. I heard the weather ceiling is amazing. Well, I'm trying this Rico GR thing and the way the autofocus works is really interesting. So first I can tap or it also locks on the point very easily. It's so interesting. This is super ergonomical. Look, and you have the plus minus exposure compensation here. Wow, I have to look more into this camera. I know some of you are gonna be like, oh, we've been telling you forever, Pia, you, you need to check it out. But wow, it's the first time like I'm actually testing it. Super interesting. But I think one of the issue with those uh, cameras is that once it's always in your pocket, you, you sometimes get like dust inside the lens. That's a real issue. Look at this. This is a Sony 7200 f4. Oh wow, it's so small. I didn't expect it. Oh, look at this one. Ooh, that's a 200-600. Great lens if you're trying to do anything where you need to be far, like wildlife and stuff. Interesting lens. But honestly, I think the only thing is that it's it's pretty. I mean, the autofocus is good, but it's it's hunting a little bit, so it takes some time. Some. Oh, wow. I can see every pore on the skin of this poor guy. Okay, the good thing of coming up to this bigger camera store, honestly, is that you can touch everything and try it. In the previous shop, if you remember, you could not try anything. Okay, let's see the funny cameras. Look at this, Nikon. Okay, jokes aside, Nikon, I used to shoot Nikon for many years and I love the camera for photography, so there's nothing wrong with Nikon. I just haven't tried any of their Z models for a long time. Manny Ortiz has and apparently loves it. What is that? Oh, that's interesting. It's like a film look. What is that? ZFC. Who's tried that? Let me know in the comments right now. Have you ever tried this? You hear that? It sounds like a real film camera. So interesting. Oh, Fuji. They have like those funny format cameras. Look, what is that? Provia Auto. It's so strange. Hi. Looks like a bigger sensor, but I don't know it exactly that's how much i know about other brands sometimes i don't know much if you know anything about this let me know is this any good let's go back to what we're looking for we're still looking for this so let's look at let's search for accessories does anyone ask for tripods is this enough tripods for you guys this is all kind of tripods any tripod you want is right here and now whoa jeremy i found the tripod look you can fit under the tripod. This is what we need. Let's get it. It's three meter high. But this is for, oh, for Jerome. So he can make the whole sensei, you know, with the faking he has a drone. But with this, with a real actually film camera on top or like a real cine camera on top. Oh, what is that? What? Toy camera. This is great. Oh my God, I want to try that. You think Look at this. Yes, one is a, like a cheese, micro SD cheese camera for French people. Say cheese. Oh my God, imagine the joke. Say cheese, click. Okay, we got the cheese camera and look at this. Apparently they have also a camera condom. So this is not the brand that I use or recommend necessarily. I haven't tried it. This is a decap pack. Maybe it's good too. You just gotta check it for yourself. But no, actually I would never dive with that seeing how it's closed up. But it's interesting that they have it. They don't have the Ewa Marine, which is the one I was using. But this is great when you shoot in the rain and stuff. And this one has like little holes in which you can put, look at this. You can put your finger in there and like actually turn the lens. But something that worries me is that the front of this element looks already cracked. So yeah, definitely wouldn't try that. They have the plastic one though. Look, they're like just plastic bag for the rain. Oh, this is good. If you shoot in the rain, I have one of these. Kind of broke very quickly, but it's helpful. All right, guys, sadly, I could not find my accessory, but I've got this. And look how beautiful this makes my eyes. Got the eye ring. Oh, this is the best. Okay, jokes aside, let's go test this in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Remember, get out there, go shoot, try something different, try something new. Gear is not everything. Make sure you work on your skills. 30 day adventure to great photos will make you take bangers even with a cheese camera. <laughs>